Hey guys, and welcome to Sky Factory 3, episode 10. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, some Tinker's Construct tools, because mine just keep breaking. Uh, we're also going to start our venture into the chickens mod. Um, it, this will enable us to get higher tier resources nice and easy. Right, so let's jump into it. Right, so uh, there has been a few changes. Uh, I've updated the um, lava generators. They're now Mark II's, producing 640 RF tick. Um, with everything we got going on, we're just using way too much power. So yeah, so that got upgraded. Um, we've also had to upgrade the energy conduits as well. Um, the, the other ones are, are limited. I mean, this this doesn't need much more than six volts of so that can stay like that. But uh, what else? Uh, yeah, we've created a quantum storage unit, uh, which is nice and easy, actually, surprisingly. Uh, so it's just obsidian chest, gold, um, iron, normal, and it's yeah, and a couple of vendor pearls and, and iron. So nice and easy. Uh, that essentially stores an unlimited amount of any one single item. So this is going to be cobblestone. Um, I've also set this priority up. So whenever we put any cobble, uh, cobblestone within our system, it's just going to automatically go straight into that rather than staying in there and using up disk space. Um, so this as well, I have... Oh, that's it's growing in a really weird pattern. I like that. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I have uh, put these growth accelerators underneath. Um, these essentially use inferior essence. Let's have a look at those. So they are inferior essence blocks, basically, along with uh, stone and a single diamond. And they make crops grow rather quickly, which is nice. Uh, I've also got rid of the lever and put this uh, RF tools timer down. Uh, so instead of me flipping the, the lever back and forward, I can just switch that to that. But uh, I set it at high number so it doesn't really do it, use any system resources whilst, whilst we're playing, which is nice. Um, oh, lava. So obviously the server stays up 24 seven and I'm not always on here and this isn't you know, the sun uses a set amount and whatnot, but so we're essentially generating excess lava. And I thought, you know, we'll store it. So similar to the uh, quantum storage unit over there, we got one for liquid. There's quantum tank. This, again, this holds like near enough an infinite amount of liquid. Um, comes in very handy if I want to create a lot of um, obsidian very quickly. So yeah, uh, I've also made some changes around here. I've, I've designed this a lot better now. <laughs> um, I think this has been through about three or four revisions so far. Um, but we've I've created this network receiver and we've got the transmitter over here. You connect the transmitter up to your um, refined storage system uh, and, and create a network card and then link the network card to that block. And then essentially it's wireless transmitter on the system. I mean, it's a single block, but yeah, I mean, from there I can sort of build out on it and do whatever I want. This could be dimensional as well. So in, in like the nether or the end or wherever I could have uh, a refined storage system, which is kind of awesome. Uh, so yeah, we've got a lot more filters and stuff like that. It, it was it was getting a bit annoying um, and it automatically, as soon as it's uh, finished um, cooking it, it goes straight into the refined storage system so there's no more back and forth back and forth anymore and it's it's all automatic now which is nice i've actually put the trash can in now as well so that's removing stuff directly uh, from the sieves before it even gets to this um and now this 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 is for our chickens now oh my god this this took me forever and a day i am no good at designing and so yeah, this just took me forever. So let's uh, let's go have a look. So on this side, nice uh, empty room. I mean, they're all empty at the minute. 
Um, there is one that is slightly different, which I'll show you. So essentially the mirrors of each other. Um, we've got elevator to upstairs. A little balcony, so we can just watch over our, our map, which is nice. Close it up. Now the this room here again. This this is this is going to be our breeding room. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a bit. This is our spawning room, our egg spawning room. So redstone lamps help with the spawning process, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But first, let's delve into Tinkers. Uh, these diamond pickaxes, yeah, they're great, but they break so quick and so easy. Um, but I thought, what better way to show you guys Tinkers Construct tools? Um, I don't know what I've got in here at the minute. No, I've got nothing in there at the minute. So let's let's have a look. So we are we've got the crafting station. Uh, actually, we're gonna need one of those. Um, so we need a stencil table. Oh no, we need that first as well. Oh my goodness, there's so many things. So the stencil table, um, which is a blank pattern and oak wood. A stencil table. Uh, what have we got down here? Heart builders. There we go. Part builder there. And then we want the tool forge. And that's what we wanted the tool station for the, uh, um, what's it called? The crafting table. That's what we wanted that for. Uh, where's it gone? How have I lost it? There it is. Uh, Okay, so we want that. So that's basically the three main items we want. We want the parts, um, the blank patterns. Uh, we're going to want some paper. Oh, we don't have a lot of paper, do we? Uh, we have enough of this to create some. Nice. So we've got three stacks of that. We're going to need some bubble. Stack of that. Uh, we will need some gold. Now, I don't want too much of this. Um, actually, we're probably going to need... So we're going to put the gold in the uh, the smeltery, and that's all so much that you're going to pump out onto this. And this is essentially going to make blanks. So if we click in there, put that in. It can go in there. And then when this comes out, you'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean by blanks in a second. Um, okay, so we want these that there, that there, and then that there. Cool. So that's your stencil table. So these are the stencils that we we're going to use. We should actually put this in a different order. There we go. So then that one, that one, and that one. Cool. Look, there you go. So these these are our blank templates. You'll see why we need those in a minute. Um, okay. So first of all, I need a pickaxe. So we get the pickaxe head pattern, uh, the tool rod pattern, and then what else is it that we need? Uh, it's the binding. Uh, where's the binding, that one? Nice and easy. Uh, I also want a sword. So we get a sword blade pattern. Uh, was it a wide guard? And tool rod, which we already have. So, this is where we are going to want to place our patterns. Now, I'm making them out of paper for a very specific reason. They're not going to be durable, nothing like that. And you're thinking, what, what, what is he doing? It's crazy. You know, paper is just going to break. Yeah, you're not wrong. But the paper will give us um, more modifiers. This will give us enough modifiers to be able to make it unbreakable and then we just level it up and then we can do what we want with it basically thereafter um so first pickaxe head tool rod i want two of those uh binding i want two of those and a wide guard i want one of those 
So, first things first, pickaxe. And that one. Yep, there we go. That's our paper pickaxe. I love that sound. And then we want our sword. Oh, it's not binding, is it? No. Uh, what do we need? Sword blade or dirt. There we go. Sword blade. So we now have a paper pickaxe and sword. <laughs> now the stats on them are really, really crap. Um, durability 8. Mm, it's not going to last long. But this is where these flanks come in. So if we come around here and pick up some obsidian. Uh, no, I didn't really need to do that, did I? This makes the reinforcement modifier. So five of these make something unbreakable. And making it out of paper gives us five modifiers. So instantly our tool becomes unbreakable. So if we look at the stats in here, there we go. Unbreakable. This will never break now. Has no durability. So essentially these these are aren't really good for anything at the minute. Uh, which is fine, which is fine. It's not too much of an issue. Uh, because at some point we will level them up. And those can go in there, that can go in there, 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 and there. So essentially, that's that's the very start of uh, Tinker's Tools. So, chickens. Um, now, there's all different kinds of eggs. Um, how have I got no ink in here? Ah, oh, it's because I'm not bringing it over. Now, I already had a look at this thing. This thing was absolutely full of the bags, the loot bags. I've had to delete them. <laughs> Just clogging everything up. There, there will be a time where I will be using loot bags, but for now, I'm not interested. Um, so there is one chicken egg. It's a ink black chicken egg. Um, what else have we got? Uh, we got bone meal. Oh, wrong search. Bone meal. Uh, let me see. Coco. The brown. A yellow. Green. Log chicken. A flint chicken. Uh, what are we missing? Uh, red chicken. We're going to need a Oh, what's another one? We think uh, we've got the flint, we've got the log. Oh, lapis. So this gives us a blue chicken. Um, what other chickens can we make? I think that's it for the minute. Let's, uh, let's go and look for those. Look at those. Where is my animal net? There we go. Cool. Right. So let's go over here. Go into our spawning room. Oh, you know what I forgot? 
can't put them down if we don't have the nests. So the whole reason for me putting the uh, the growth accelerators underneath is literally produce tons and tons of wheat. Uh, reason being is very simple. Um, we need to make are they hay bales? Yeah, hay bales, and lots of them for the chicken mod. Now we will use that to make. Uh, what is it? Nests. Yep, there we go. Nests. Egg nests. And yes, we will probably need that many. Uh, we're going to put 10 in there so they don't get used during the process. Uh, and then we're going to need all of these. So this will allow the chickens to stay in there. Um, and yeah, essentially, instead of them walking around, they stay in there, they produce all their stuff, blah, blah. Um, I'll show you. Let's have a look. Right, so let's get these out of there. Right, so the reason for the redstone lamp is this apparently helps the chickens to grow faster well not not grow faster but spawn faster see look they have the uh the hatching percentage at the top so this apparently helps them spawn faster now sometimes on the off chance you will get a chicken that will spawn immediately instead of sitting in one of these nests ah like that and like that nice so we have our, our log and our flint chicken uh, before they escape let's close that door yeah let's go into what will be the mating room so and it's called that for a reason uh, this is where we will be mating the chickens together Um, no, there we go. I don't like these things. They don't, they don't like to go places. Right, let's remove all these other ones. So that's them set up. Uh, okay, what I do want to do is wire them up. So we are automatically pulling the resources out of them. Oh, I thought I put the blue one down. Really not. We'll go and do that in a second. So we'll extract from all four of those. I need to make a probe that's um that will make things a lot easier i think when mass doing things such as this Thank you.
Yep, there we go. Connect that up, connect that up. Uh, connect that, that. And these. So we will have our crate in this corner. When we go pick one up, let's go plant. Plants? Let's go put down our lapis chicken. I like these. These are really cool because the log chicken so it looks like a log. There's, where's, where's the flint chicken gone? Flint chicken, so it's all nice and grey. Awesome. Uh, now, I believe the balloons. Where is it? Blah, 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 blah. Flint chicken. Right, let's see what he mates with or she mates with. Flint, I think. Flint and log, it's coal. Well, as, as these two are out and about now, let's, uh, let's go and add them around here. So these will mate with other chickens that are within the north, south, east and west location. They will not make the chickens above. So we can do this. So those two will make, and then eventually, when I get that set up, there will be a chest with um, all the stuff in. I think I may have to rearrange this. This is, yeah. I'll get rid of these ones. There we go. So we've got easy access to it. I mean, this this will all be changed at some point. Um, but yeah, no. So this this is uh, this is good. Let me let me go get a crate. So they haven't actually produced anything yet, which is fine, which is good. But it's a good thing about these nesting pens as well, is you can actually see when their neck's going to drop something. So this is in 2 minutes 52, that one's in, two, in 435. It's good. Right, let's check on our other chicks. How are these getting on? 47%, 62, 44, 45, 46. Yeah, I'm not sure it works underneath. I think maybe it works on top. I'll have to experiment and find out for definite on that one. But essentially, yeah, I mean this this is this is what you do. So you once they're born, you then put them next to other chickens, you mate them, you you get other different you know, I mean you can make an iron chicken, which is a flint and bone white, which we have. We have a flint and bone white. So there's there's the uh, the bone white and uh, the flint's already in there. So we just move that flint over and it you know it can then make with the uh, the bone white chicken. And then we have an iron chicken. Nice. Um so this is uh a nice easy way of getting resources as long as you level them up. The best you need to get them to tier 10. I think that's that's the best tier. I mean look these are tier one, the growth one, gain one, strength one. We we want them growth 10, gain 10, strength 10. And they produced materials so quickly. But yeah, so that is the beginnings of our chicken farm. Um, we've gone over a little bit on smeltery. When it when I uh, once I've leveled my my pickaxe up a bit. Where did I put it? There it is. So once I've leveled my pickaxe up a bit, which which to be fair won't take too long. Essentially, I'm just gonna stack up a load of cobblestone and mine it. Um. Actually, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let's let's do that now, so you can see. And uh, where's my wand? Uh, let's put all that in there. Right, 
back on the stairs. There we go. So we'll get rid of that there. And go in there as well. And so can that. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Right. Let's level this bad boy up. A bit of server lag, I think, yeah. Come on. Oh, I didn't put it to automatically pull out. That was a bit silly. Come on. And that's the one broken. Right. Yes, it will take a minute. <laughs> but watch. Oh, hungry. the other one there it is all right let's do this again So we have actually leveled this up twice now. That's yeah, so we have two modifiers. A little bit more. We might be able to. There you go, that's enough. There we go. Level it up. Nice. So we should now have, yeah, three modifiers. Cool. Okay. So. Oh. Electrum. I understand it's actually very good as a mining modifier anyway. Um, although it does turn it an odd color. Uh, actually, we're gonna need some of that. Where are our patterns? So I'm gonna do this for the head. So we're gonna put, let's see. Uh, we'll do two for now, and if it... Yeah, okay. So we're gonna come back over here, put that out, put that in, put the cobble in. So this, this will give us like a, essentially a cobble pickaxe head. We're not gonna use it as cobble pickaxe head. We are gonna use it as a template, for which, I almost forgot, we need some gold. 
Um, let's put that back in there, that back in there. And get that in there as well. I uh, need the faucet. That's what I was thinking. Right, so we put a little bit of gold in. Not sure how much it actually uses. But yeah. And then we can essentially make a template, a pickaxe head template. So then we can just pour whatever metal we want in there uh, later on down the line. Uh, for now, obviously, we're, we're going to be using Electrum. Now, this essentially will give a... Good, they're not mixing. I uh, want the gold down at the bottom, please. This will give the, uh, should we say, the pickaxe a charge of sorts. Now, I'm not really interested in that. However, the mining stats on Electrum are rather awesome. Now, let's have a look. Currently, the mining speed, 0.51. Look at that, straight up to 12. How awesome is that? So yes, most definitely having that. And then we can say goodbye to our diamond pickaxe because, you know, does it even say? No, <laughs> we have no other stats. Um, so yeah, that's that's our, uh, our pickaxe. And there's there's a stats for it right so um there you go durability 50 don't really care about that level iron and it's shocking you see that it says shocking but running around charges your tool hitting an enemy discharges it now unfortunately well look it looks kind of cool like that but then we do run around come on charge up there we go. That's blinding. Blinding. Well, that didn't discharge it, which is frustrating, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. Um, I also want to, we need to put something on it that's actually going to increase the mining on it. Now, I'm not sure of the best element for that. So I will do some playing around. Um, and when when we get to the next episode, hopefully I will have an answer and I shall let you know. But um, yes, it has been a pleasure. Thank you for watching with me and hopefully our chickens will, uh, will be done soon. But um, yes, I will see you in episode 11. Bye.